you kidding me? Yeah, he said it do perfect. Do American roosters actually have an extra syllable? They do. <laughs> we don't want to stereotype all roosters. All right. Ribbit. God, I'm putting okay. this on the internet. <laughs> Let me get my German R ready. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz. Buzz. Do German bees make sounds? They come no, up to I you mean... like Jerry Seinfeld in the bee movie and they're like, hey, how no. you doing today? Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio on and off since 2016. What's up guys? I'm Ben. Good to be back. You've seen him in plenty of my videos and today we're gonna do a more lighthearted video and talk about a topic that has led to some really funny moments in our relationship oh, yeah. before and that is animal sounds. Because yes, I know it sounds weird, but it's not only the people that speak a different language in different countries, it's the animals too. Okay, not really of course, but you know the animal sounds that you teach kids for example when you say like what does a cow make blah blah blah. That's actually different in different languages and today we're gonna see what these animals make in German and in English. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, the first one is this animal. What does a dog make in English? Woof. Okay, woof. woof. And there's no other answer. <laughs> in German, dogs make vow or like vow vow. Vow with yeah, a V? With a W, well, like yeah. German. Yeah. yeah, but like in a, yeah. like an English V. Yeah. Vow. <laughs> Vowel. Yeah, but like if you think of like an actual sound that a dog makes, like when they go like woof, 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 it's like they don't go like woof, woof, like they don't actually make an F sound. I think it's they more. Go like, woof, woof. I think it depends more on the dog. <laughs> so if it's like a big dog, it's like got that they deep make an F guttural sound? like woof. I don't know about that. No, I, I get the woof. <laughs> I can't get behind the vowel. <laughs> okay, that, that kind of sounded like neither. That's woof. No, it doesn't have ruff, an ruff, F. Ruff. It's an R. <laughs> It's an R at the beginning. Wow! 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 No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you know what dog is in German? Like the animal Hund. dog. Say again. Hund. Sehr gut. Der Thank Hund. you, Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Then what does a cat make? Meow. Meow. Yeah. That's of the same in German. Meow. Okay. Meow. Except we spell it differently. It's M I A U. Meow in M -I -A. German, and then in okay, English it's like. Sense. M-E-O-W. -E yeah, just Meow. like different pronunciations. Do you know what cat is in German? It has something to do with uh, hangovers, right? Katze. Katze, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. hangover <laughs> part is a male cat is a kata, <laughs> and that's also the word that we use for hangover in German. So you can say like, I have a kata, ich habe ein kata, can mean two things. It can mean either I have a male cat or I have a hangover. It's really funny that that means that, right meow? What? Right meow. Right meow? Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. funny that that means that right meow. Oh my god. <laughs> so what's a chicken? What What's a chicken make? Is a uh, rooster or? Just regular chicken for now. Bok, 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 bok. <laughs> god, this, I'm putting okay. this on the internet. <laughs> um, I, I mean, that was actually kind of a trick question because we don't really have a sound for it either. Like when people ask me what does a chicken do, I'll always go like, bok, <laughs> <laughs> No, the actual question, of course, is what does a rooster make? I used to wake up to a rooster. Our yeah. neighbors used to have one growing up, and I know this one very well. It's a cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how do you spell that? With C-O-C-K, yes. cock, cock, and then A? A. Cock-a-doodle-doo. There's, like, hyphens in it. Okay, I'm pretty we're sure. going to put it on the screen. Yeah. Now, that's like the one that has the biggest potential for discussion because I already German, know I already know yours. In German, a rooster makes kikeriki. Kikeriki! <laughs> kikeriki! <laughs> and the funny thing about that is that it has a different amount of syllables in English and in German. And I am convinced, yeah, cock a doodle do yeah, it does. kikeriki. Yeah, you can see the gears turning and in my head right now. <laughs> I think if you listen to an actual rooster, it has the syllables that we have in German. No, he says an O. Hold on. We're looking it up. This is clearly a German rooster. <laughs> do, 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 do. It doesn't have like... Do, 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 do. Yeah, but in my defense, <laughs> this is clearly a German okay, rooster. Let's look up a rooster crowing. Is that what you call it? To crow? 
God damn it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, he said do it perfect. Do American roosters actually have an extra syllable? They do. <laughs> Hold on. They're educated. <laughs> okay, he was His voice broke. squeaked. He's going through puberty. That was more German for sure. Kick, kick, kick. Yeah, that one was. Yeah. So I guess this one is more like dependent on the rooster. We don't so. want to stereotype all roosters. All righty. Okay. So. Well, do you know what um, chicken is in German? Um, I do know this. Hold on. Um, uh, henna? Or? That's a um, female chicken, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The only reason why I know that is the chicken at, um, Oktoberfest. <laughs> oh, but that was actually called Hände. Hände, yeah. But okay. Hände is the, what okay, you I call the just alive animal. Yeah. Okay, I must have just overheard that. And then Hun is the overall term. Hun? Like Hund. Okay. It's just like chicken, and then Hände is female chicken, and Han, Han. is male chicken. Is Han, yeah. I like that. By the way, one of the best ways to learn German from home and practice your German pronunciation is with the Clio app, which is the very first video-based and interactive language learning app. Clio has a different approach than other language learning apps that are mainly text-based or have you fill in gaps and repeat words after a computer voice, because on Clio, it's like you're actually talking to a real person. So you could say, ich möchte Wasser or ich möchte Kaffee. Which would you like? Ich möchte Kaffee. Obviously. Ich möchte uh. Kaffee. Here you are. Which would you like? Bratwurst? Or Sauerkraut? Ich muss uh, Bratwurst. Hmm, I love Bratwurst. <laughs> I lied! They currently offer German, Spanish, Italian, and since last year also Ukrainian, which I think is super cool. And yes, as you guys probably know by now and also just saw, I'm actually one of the people in the German section. So if you decide to learn German with Clio, I'll be one of the people who will explain things to you and practice with you. And in addition to all of the regular lessons, the vocabulary exercises, and the practice units, we now also added a dedicated pronunciation section, which, let's be honest, is very much needed for German. And when I say we added it, I don't only mean the Clio team, but also you guys, because I actually asked you for your input last summer. Which is why I want to know from you, which German sounds should we address first? And the whole pronunciation series was then created based on your guys' comments and requests. And we really covered it all. The German CH sounds, the umlauts, this infamous letter that most people are totally thrown off by when they first see it, and so much more. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are wondering how Ben's German skills are coming along. Yeah, they're they're coming along. <laughs> I will admit, admittedly, I kind of dropped the ball whenever Christmas came around yeah. with all family stuff. And we did take a little hiatus from Mm -hmm. But that is the blessing of Clio. I started with Clio last summer. Yeah, and um, I'm gonna link all the videos down below because we actually kind of documented it. Yeah, and I got through probably like 15 or so of the lessons mm -hmm. in a pretty short amount of time and I learned a lot then and now I'm picking it back up and it's it's coming along. Good. So <laughs> and in terms of German pronunciation, what's the German sound that you find the hardest? Oh, the, the German R. Okay. Easy. Yeah, that's definitely a big one for many yeah. people. So I would say let's practice it. Yeah, on the spot. First, we have what is technically called the consonantal R, like in the word for red. Rot. Rot. In standard German, it has a rasping, throat-clearing sound, like a less extreme version of the sound made when gargling. So pretend to gargle and then put a sound on it. <laughs> that's the sound. I'm going out of my so way to help you guys. The R is this. But that's what I like about this. It like <laughs> it goes over the top to not only tell like tell you about this stuff. You can see you pronounce it like your mouth, what your mouth is doing yeah. to pronounce the sound. sound. Let's try some words with this R sound. To travel. Reisen. 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 Mm -hmm. I want reisen. to travel. Ich will reisen. Ich will reisen. Das war gut. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ich will <laughs> Reisen. Okay, I will say, R didn't sound like 100% perfect yeah, yet, yeah. but it's not, you didn't do the rolled R anymore, because that's usually yeah. what he does, is like he tries to roll the R, which 
I will explain this in this unit. That's also a possibility, but if you want to get this guttural R, the uvular R down, then this is how you would practice yeah. it. It was already the, the right sound that yeah, you made. I'm, I'm now you just it. have to like perfect it. Yeah, but. yeah. You don't realize these things whenever you're yeah. talking, but whenever you, I try to do this, I realize that my tongue is trained to do certain things. Yeah. And I'm supposed to keep it on the bottom of my mouth, but mm -hmm. it automatically wants to go up. Up and do the rolled R, like yes. risen. Yeah, like you yeah, want exactly. to do like yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I just got to know that. If you want to try Clear yourself, check out the link in the info box below to download it. They have several lessons that you can try for free in each language, including two of the German pronunciation lessons. And with my code FAILY2023, you'll even get a 35% discount for three months. Okay, what does a duck make? Quack. Quack, quack. Okay. In German, quack. 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 Yeah. How do Sounds you Sounds like you're saying something else there. What? Quack. Quack. Quack <laughs> also, if you spell it differently, can mean um, a yogurt meal. It doesn't really exist in the US. Quack doesn't really exist. But that's one of those sounds that doesn't really exist in English, especially like American English. The Q to the quack. Quack. Like, we that's... just, that's how we pronounce a Q U sound. Okay. Is Q. And you guys do qu. Yeah. Do you know what duck is in German? I do not know that. Okay. One. It's ente. 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 You have had duck before, like as yeah. a meal. Yeah. Yes. And that was ente. Yes. And it was very um, good. Your dad made it for Christmas one day, and well, last year. Yeah. And it was very good. <laughs> what does a frog make? Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> My voice you, squeaked in that. How do you spell that? Hmm, R-I-B-B-I-T, okay. I think. That sounds right. I mean, you're asking me to spell automatopoeia here. Like, I just want to know, like, how is it? Okay, say it again. Ribbit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you have any idea what a German frog makes? Um, let me get my German R ready. <laughs> Ribbit? I, I don't even know. <laughs> or let me get R. deeper. So a German frog actually makes quack. The same as... As a duck. A duck? Yeah. That's quack. blasphemy. No. Quack. No, Quark. I can't get behind Quark. that. That's wrong. <laughs> we need to start a change.org, start a petition. <laughs> Ducks and frogs do not make the same sound. I think that there's definitely some Germans that also do like the rabbit. But if you have it in a children's book and it's yeah. written out and it's like, you know, little speech bubbles around the animals, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a duck, speech bubble, quack, frog, speech bubble, yeah. If you ask someone from where I'm from what a frog sounds like, yeah. it's not necessarily that. Because a bullfrog sounds like the <laughs> okay. sound that you get from a bullfrog is not a ribbit. Do we'll they just actually, say that. how do they imitate that? They don't really imitate okay. it. There is no imitating yeah. it. If you know what a bullfrog sounds like, you know what a bullfrog sounds like. Yeah. I think these are not supposed to be like super know, biologically I accurate. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, how does a bird make? Oh, uh, let me think on that one. What does a bird? I can tell you what a bird makes in German. Yeah. Peep. Beep, peep. Peep. Yeah. No. Peep. That's what. That's what. Yeah. That's why the candies are called peeps. Okay. In the U.S. But yeah, peep. Uh, I mean, like a hawk. Like caw. Is that? Or like you're... a crow, like a caw. I mean, it just depends on the type yeah, of bird. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But like, peep. if you like wrote it, you're like asking your little nephew, right? Yeah. Like, what does a bird yeah. make? What would he respond? Peep. Peep. Yeah. Peep. Yeah. And then, I mean, of course, we also have like for uh, crows, for example, we would say krä because they're called krän. And we would say, but you wouldn't really like imitate it like that. Yeah. So yeah, peep. Next up, we got an elephant. Uh. Does an elephant even have a sound in English? I'm not sure. I don't even know. That's <laughs> like a horse. No, I don't know. That was terrible. We're cutting that. Okay. I don't know. Like, it's like the horn. Like. Yeah. But does it, because I'm not sure. I think you guys don't have a sound for it. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I've heard people do it. <laughs> My boyfriend I tried to imitate an elephant. <laughs> okay, because in German we actually have a dedicated like sound for it or okay. a word for it, and it's Töre. Töre. <laughs> it's like T O umlaut R O umlaut. Did you say it again? Töre. No, in like the. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Töre. <laughs> okay, I don't see the beginning, the T part, but yeah. at the end, like the. Part that that actually kind of fits. I yeah. hear it there. Does yeah. anybody else? Because I <laughs> want to know if I'm going crazy and might need to go to a doctor. I also wonder if other languages have a word or like a sound for elephants because that's definitely difficult. But if you speak another language, let us know in the comments below if you have a word yeah. sound for an elephant. In Germany, of course, one of the reasons why everyone knows this. 
I think I would argue, is the kids story. It's mainly, it was an audiobook first, I think, and now it's also a cartoon. And it's the one that's called like... You. Uh, Benjamin Blumkin. Benjamin Blumkin, exactly. <laughs> I said a... Benjamin, Benjamin. I didn't Benjamin. say that like Spanish. <laughs> you can tell I had Spanish class in high school. <laughs> so yeah, Benjamin Blumkin is a speaking elephant and in the show or like in the audiobooks also or audio plays I should say he always makes the sound he always says Tore! Tore! Uh, what's elephant in German Tore! no what uh, what's the oh. <laughs> well I love the dedication though uh, this one word? I have never it's heard. literally um, the same elephant elephant Sehr gut. okay okay what does a donkey make <laughs> That's pretty good. How I'm proud you, of that one. <laughs> how would you spell that? Like, oh, uh, H E E hyphen H U H E, huh? Okay. Is that something that you would find in a children's book, you think? I think so. I think okay. that's what, like, Eeyore says in, like, Pooh. Like, hm uh -huh. <laughs> like, <all laughs> That sounds like, yeah, that sounds very sad. <laughs> okay, in German, it's E A. You know what I'm just thinking? Yeah. I think Eeyore's name is the sound that Eeyore is oh, the yeah. sound that donkeys Maybe. make. But Eea, I see that one. Yeah. Eea. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. And a donkey in German is called. Um. I'm gonna teach you. It's der Esel. Der Esel. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Next up, we got a pig. I knew that. That was from the um, advent calendar. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah. I yeah, was yeah. editing that. <laughs> yeah. So what does a pig make? Is there oink, like well oink oink? Okay. Yeah. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. That's actually the same in German. Okay. Oink that's, oink. I feel like that's a universal. Yeah. One. Cool. What does a bee make? A bee? Yeah. Buzz. 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 Like <laughs> U double Z. Yeah. Okay. I don't really think they make like their own sound. I've never heard a bee make a sound. Yeah. You know what I'm getting at, right? Children's yeah, yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I okay. didn't know if I was missing something here. I'm like, <laughs> do German bees make sounds? They come no, up to I you mean, like Jerry Seinfeld in the bee movie and they're like, hey, how no, you doing today? I don't think so at least, but I mean, when they're flying, they make a sound with their wings. Yeah. Okay, so in German, it's zum. Zum? Zum. Like S U double M. Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> I feel like buzz makes a lot more sense, actually. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I see zoom. Yeah. It's technically, I think, just the abbreviation from the actual verb. Like, you know how, in addition to like the animal sounds, like saying, okay, a bird makes peep, you can also yeah. say a bird sings, right? You have verbs that are assigned to each animal. And so I think in German, that's kind of where that comes from is like, eine Biene summt. Like, that's the verb is like summen. Yeah. And then, for a lack of a better word, it's just like, what does it make? Zoom, zoom, zoom. What, what, what does zoom mean? <laughs> it's, it means like hum, almost. Okay. Yeah. okay, that makes sense. But even in like songs for like the Oktoberfest, for example, yeah. I don't think I taught you this particular one, but there is one that's called like Das Rote Pferd. And it it has like a line where it goes like die Fliege machte zum zum zum. No, I know that. <laughs> is that the one where uh, they swim, swim? No, it's not that one. Okay. It's very similar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Der hat das rote Pferd sich einfach umgekehrt und hat mit seinem Schwanz die Fliege abgewehrt. Die Fliege war nicht dumm, sie machte Summ, Summ, Summ und flog mit mir gebrumm ums rote Pferd herum. Da, 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 Okay. Exactly. All right. <laughs> cool. We only got a few left. Okay. What does a horse make? Uh, nays. Nay. And that's really funny because you guys have a sound for that, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. Say that again. Nay. And how do you spell that? Uh, it's either N A Y. Or N E I G H, like the oh. weird spelling. I don't know on that one. Can you demonstrate it again? Nee. Nee. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes so much sense. In German, well, we call it like a ein Pferd wie hat, so there's a verb. And if anything, maybe kids, for lack of a better word, they will do like wie but you don't actually say that. That's not like what you would write in a children's book. We just don't have a word. That sounded for good it. though. The only other way that you would imitate a horse that I know would be either what you just did, like yeah. that, like, <laughs> or just doing like a. Yeah, that's like. the other one. <laughs> but like when kids just like play horse or whatever, they will just make like a random sound to just imitate the horse. Yeah. They'll just go like, ooh. But there's no word that you can actually yeah. spell out. Um, what's a horse in German? Uh, I don't know. 
It's a Pferd. Pferd. I knew that. That's okay. Pferd. Yeah, I knew that. And we saw a, this was a very weird moment for me. This is yeah. like totally off subject, but we saw a Pferd butcher while oh, we yeah. were in Munich. And being from Kentucky, that was a very, very surreal moment for me because if you guys don't know, Kentucky is the horse capital of the world. And seeing a horse butcher in Munich was crazy. Yeah. But I digress. It's, I mean, I'm a vegetarian anyways. I can't explain that at all culturally, but it is a thing. It's not like a super common thing. Like, yeah. I don't think I know a lot of people who would choose to eat horse sausages but it is like a thing considered a delicacy. I've heard that it was good. I had a friend that taught in China and he had it there and yeah. he said it was very good. Yeah. But I don't know if I can get by. I mean, I obviously wouldn't like it because yeah. I don't even like yeah. pork or anything else. Okay, let's move on from that topic. <laughs> what does a cow make? Moo. That's the same. Germans and Americans Universal. agree. Moo, except we spell it differently. We spell it M-U-H. And you, I think, spell it M double O. M double O. Yeah, we spell it M U H. So you guys would be Ma. I'm just picturing yeah. a, I'm just picturing a cow going through a field like Ma. Ma. <laughs> like, hey, Ma. <laughs> no, it's Mu. Because okay. if you know German pronunciation, that's how you pronounce it. Um, and what is a cow in German? Oxa is an ox. Yeah. Um, it's weird that I know an ox and I don't know. Yeah. The word for cow actually rhymes with what it makes. Ku. Ku. Okay. Yeah, cool. So K not, not the not the ooh, but cool. regular ooh. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I got two more, and I'm gonna throw them out uh, all at once. Okay. I got a sheep and a goat. A sheep. Bah. How do you spell that? B a h. Okay. B a or b a a a a a a a. <laughs> two hours later, a a a a h. Bah. Bah. <laughs> okay. What does a goat make? Um. Honestly, the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, bah. Okay, that's what I was wondering, because in German they make the same thing. Yeah, I sure. think so. All I know is that whenever I grew up on the farm, I did not hang around the goats, because they were mean. I think goats are cute. They're cute, they're very cute, but like, we had a, we had a barn goat, her name was Nellie, and she was so mean, and after that I was just like, no goats. Okay. Sheep are cool. <laughs> sheep are really cool. All right, so sheep and German, sheep and goats, both make meh. Meh? Meh. Yeah, I see that. And you spell it M, umlaut A, H. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you know what sheep or goat would be in German? Uh, that one I do not. Okay. Uh, a sheep is ein Schaf. Ein Schaf. Schaf. And goat is Ziege. 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 Z-I-E-G-E. Ziege. Ziege. Alrighty, that was all the animals. Can yes. you think of one that we forgot to mention? Uh, I can't think of anything else. Okay, cool. If you guys have any other animal sounds that are different in English and in German, let us know in the comments below. And also, I'm very curious if, as I said earlier, if you speak another language besides English or German, I want to know what these animals make in your language and how different it is. So just let us know in the comments below. And of course, we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to support me, us, and the channel uh, even beyond that, then you can hit that super thanks button underneath the video. You can buy us a coffee on ko-fi.com slash Germany, or you can also join my Patreon community, which is patreon.com slash Germany. You'll get some behind the scenes insights, get the videos ad free, get a discount on my shop, etc. So yeah, check that out if you want to. And for more content, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Yes, good to be back. <laughs> and with that, cheers! Dogs go wolf. <laughs>